which is truly going through some really significant change. Today is an incredibly joyous occasion for all of us. Obviously more so because once again we're able to come together person to person and assemble and celebrate together. Our whole community here in Dundee has really missed this collective opportunity to congratulate those that have achieved so much. Our graduates to be our graduates. I joined the university community myself only this January, so I joined in the middle of the pandemic. And I know myself what a challenging period this has been for all of us. But I want to pay particular tribute and give my most profound thanks and admiration to our staff for the way that they've adapted to the challenges presented and continued to ensure that we offer a really high standard of education and a great experience to all of our students from around the world. And then, of course, our students themselves. Normally, I'd be saying it requires dedication and commitment to reach this stage in the year. But goodness me, it has this time. Our graduates from all around the world have faced such additional extra challenges of adapting the way that you've had to study and learn in your final years. And I have to say so. I have to say you've done it really. You have been outstanding ambassadors and representatives for this year through your truly exemplary behaviour. <coughs> Thank you for that. We are proud of what we've achieved. All of us are. I certainly am. The resilience and the determination that you've shown in attaining your degrees is truly incredible. And you are an absolute credit to this university and our community. I should say at this point, you're allowed to make noise. Uh, and I will be encouraging you to make noise as you go through the ceremony. Normally I'd be asking you to scream and yell or not and uh, cheer, but with COVID, uh, it's mainly going to be clapping and stomping. And I'm going to test you a bit later on this. By the way, I'd like you to know that uh, I'm running a book with my colleagues at the university on which graduation ceremony can make the most noise. First one this morning did pretty well, so let's see how they do. <laughs> anyway, our university, our core mission as a university is to transform lives. Transform lives here in Dundee, across Scotland, the UK, and globally. And we do that through the creation, sharing, and application of knowledge. Knowledge that you have shared, that you have created in your time here in Dundee. We're a triple intensive university, and that means we're one that focuses on our strengths in teaching, in research, and our impact. And we have an incredibly strong commitment to social purpose. We are both a university of our city, and we are a university for our city. And just look around uh, as you're in London. We've taken, you've taken, a central transformative role in the renaissance of this great place. We've done that in bringing the V&A to Dundee, and hopefully bringing the Eden Project to Dundee. But we've also done this building on our world-leading research. So our extraordinarily strong life sciences research has allowed us to build a new bioquarter here in the city, which will create jobs but also health and wealth for all. And to demonstrate the quality of our biosciences, this year, a spin-out company from our university called Exciencia, became the third biggest biopharma in the UK. And I say the third biggest, I mean behind GlaxoSmithKline and AstraZeneca that made the vaccine. That's the largest biotech spin-out ever from a UK university. That's what Dundee's about. Our research was much wider than that. We measure the impacts of climate change and glaciers. We make breakthroughs in social care, education, nursing, and beyond. And we ensure that our research applies globally as well as here in Dundee. Recently, training doctors to deal with some of the real tragic circumstances going on in Afghanistan. We're a world-leading university. We operate on the global stage, and it's 
our international community, and so many of you are part of that community, that enables us to do that and that helps us take on these challenges. But our heart is here in Dundee. We're rooted in the city. We balance our global impact with our commitment to our civic and social responsibilities at home. This close relationship between the city and the university, well, its origin is the creation of the university, the commitment of the city to passion for education. But it goes much beyond that into partnerships for economic, cultural uh, uh, success and an inclusive, welcoming community based place. At the University of Dundee, community is central to our being. This is the heart of all that we do. And you are graduates, we, you are graduates, are an important and vital part of that. As global ambassadors with a lifelong membership of the University of Dundee, you should always consider that this is your university. Take pride in your membership. Share your passion for the university and connection to the city of Dundee in the years ahead, because we will share our passion for you. Of course, the COVID-19 pandemic has been a terrible challenge, but it's not the only challenge that the world is facing. And you as our graduates, you're the next generation who will put your minds to help and solve some of the big issues of our time. And we're proud to say that this university has contributed to preparing you to meet these challenges. It will come no surprise to any of you that one of the big challenges and one of the passionate foresight of this university is around the theme of inclusion, widening access, creating a beacon of hope and enablement for all. This is not just our strategy, but as graduates of our university, you take that ethos with you wherever you go. Also, sustainability. Well, if anyone doubted sustainability was a key issue, we've just all lived through the experience of COP26. And many of you will have participated in that. I know that many of us on the stage uh, were honoured to do so. And one of the most memorable quotes that came to me from COP26 was uh, President Barack Obama. He said, all of us have a part to play. All of us have work to do. All of us have sacrifices to make. You, as our ambassadors, will carry the torch for all of us in helping lead the changes we as a global community must make. And in doing so, you will yourselves be beacons for all. Your university is ranked top in the UK and fifth in the world for climate action. You have a great foundation for a future that sustains us all. All of you here today, graduates that are going before you and those that will come after you across the stage in years to come, are our hope for the delivery of meaningful change on issues like inclusion, climate action, population health, wealth, and a whole range of other challenges facing us as a global community. In your time in the university, you'll gain new knowledge and skills that you can now take out into the world. You'll find new friends. Some of you will have found your life partners. You'll have found a lot about yourself too. I hope you had a very good time. It's my most sincere hope that your time at the university has equipped you to take the next stage, next step into that next stage of your lives with confidence and a spirit of adventure. It's time now to be bold, to be creative, to be innovative, and to make your own impact. As you step out into the world, bearing your degree as a graduate and ambassador for the University of Dundee. Know that we, your community of fellow graduates, students and staff, wish you the very best for the future. Okay, so now it's the time that I'm going to get you to make some noise. I'm going to count to three. And on three, remember, this is a, this is a competition. It's also a joyous occasion. You've got all these people supporting you here. Everyone. Count to three, as much noise as we can, for a really raucous start to our ceremony. One, two, three. <laughs>
but I think we'll see if they can be a bit better later on. But uh, congratulations, Dorothy. <laughs>